Hi everybody, it's Roundup time again. This month we've got shape-shifting sea monsters, alien worlds, and a slow motion light show in the sky. But enough of my jabbering, let's get started. Kicking it off at number 10, the 60s are long gone, but Paisley, it seems, is still in fashion. Actually, this psychedelic pattern might be a new form of artificial life. When a moving particle collides with a stationary one, it recruits it into its swarm. When swarms collide, the faster one eats the slower one. These simple rules allow unique patterns of movement and behavior to evolve over time. Simulations like this could help explain how complex life arises from simple beginnings. At number nine, witness the violent birth of a supermassive black hole. This simulation shows the collision of two galaxies, each larger than our own Milky Way. As they approach each other, tidal forces rip them apart. Stars, gas, and dark matter coalesce, forming a galactic disk with the mass of a billion suns ready to collapse into a black hole. Collisions like this may have allowed the early universe to evolve black holes faster than astronomers previously thought. At number eight, catch a ride on a technicolor wave in space. These swirls are actually giant magnetic whirlpools formed when the solar wind hits Earth's magnetosphere. They were measured by ESA's cluster satellites. The quartet of spacecraft has been monitoring space weather since the turn of the century, giving scientists the most detailed picture yet of conditions in near-Earth space. Next up, number seven takes us from whirlpools in space to spirals under the sea. These see-through critters are called salps. They're not jellyfish, they're free-roaming relatives of the lowly sea squirt. Not only can they link up in huge chains of up to hundreds of individuals, but they were also recently found to be the most efficient filter feeders on Earth. They use a special mucus net to capture the smallest food particles in the sea. The net is made of nanoscale threads, but how exactly it works is still a mystery. Number six. In 1980, astronomers knew of just under 9,000 asteroids in our solar system. Over the next three decades, as this animation shows, the number of known asteroids skyrocketed. As years progress, newly discovered asteroids flash white. New technologies in the 90s and 2000s accelerated discovery. Now there are over 500,000 known space rocks. The green ones? Those are safe. The red ones? Those ones have orbits that cross Earth's. And with that, we're halfway through. On to number five. If all those Earth-crossing asteroids didn't get you to gulp, perhaps this clip will. MRI scans used to require patients to hold still, making it difficult to image moving body parts. Now, a new computational technique can speed up the imaging process, making it possible to watch soft tissue like the tongue or the heart move in near real time. The technology could help doctors better diagnose diseases of the heart and other moving body parts. At number four, it's alive! This is a zebrafish embryo going through its first 10 cell divisions. As more and more cells split off, they begin to specialize into what will eventually become different organs and other body parts. To create the movies, a computer with advanced image tracking software followed each cell as it divided. The result is the most detailed picture yet of an embryo taking shape. Number three, as far as natural masters of disguise go, you'd be hard pressed to beat the octopus. This Indonesian mimic octopus is particularly talented, able to imitate many of its neighbors like the brightly colored but inedible lionfish or a dead-on flatfish. Now the lionfish I get because those are poisonous, but why mimic a flatfish? Those are usually somebody's dinner. It turns out our crafty mimic throws in a twist. It switches to bolder colors while maintaining flatfish form. Scientists think this sends a confusing signal to predators who'd rather take a pass than chance a deadly meal. At number two, this could be the richest system of exoplanets ever discovered. Star HD 10180, a sun-like star 127 light years from Earth, was recently found to harbor at least five planets, and could have as many as seven. To find this new planetary system, astronomers measured how the star's light changes as it plays tug-of-war with its satellites. The five confirmed planets have masses similar to that of Neptune, with years that range from six to 600 days. One of the speculative planets could be as small as 1.4 times the size of Earth, if confirmed, it would be one of the smallest exoplanets ever discovered. All right, nine clips down, one to go. We've all seen lightning before, but not like this. 
This footage was shot during a recent storm in Rapid City, South Dakota. It was captured at 9,000 frames per second. You can see positive bolts snaking across the sky and quick flashes called recoil leaders. They travel backward toward the cloud along invisible branches of the main bolt. When a bolt strikes the ground, an intense return strike lights up the sky. Here's a few more. These were shot at 1,000 frames per second and show positively charged bolts branching as they meander their way skyward. Well, that's it for this month's Roundup. We'll be back next month with a special Halloween edition. In the meantime, we'd love to hear from you. If you've seen a cool science video online or you just want to say hi, you can drop us a line on Twitter, leave a comment on YouTube, or get in touch through our website. For New Scientist TV in San Francisco, I'm McGregor Campbell. Thanks for watching.